Hey guys, Mark Farashi, ProTech Dog Training. It looks like you're going to just get the yak sessions for the next few days. <laughs> so on my mind right now is what I got into in the last couple days. I went over to um, the podcast called the, um, the Canine Paradigm. They hit that spot in me that just makes me feel such a warm, fuzzy. I, I got tears in my eyes. I mean, literally, when they started talking about hobby, jobby, or job, something that is about the industry as a whole and kids that are getting into it and how they progress into it and the, the attitude overall in the industry. And so many of these things I've seen again and again over the years, you know. Uh, one of the, the conversations they get into in that one is, uh, I think it's 194. Um, listen to it. Just excellent. Just hits it right on the T, you know. All the things that I feel in my heart that I stand for, that I try to express, they express much, much better than me. I mean, just really impressed, you know. And the, the last, and I'm going to go down. I, I've listened to them before. I mean, they're, they're good, but they haven't hit it on that, that heart string like they have in these last couple episodes, you know. I just just brings tears to my eyes, you know. One of those things they're talking about is mentorship, you know. When you go over and you work with somebody and their attitude, their mental attitude when they're doing it, where they, they've got an ego and they want to be the one that gets the credit when they're trying to train you and you're trying to come up the ladder and learn. And a good mentor is somebody that really cares about you as an individual learning and growing in the trade. So right on. So And this is the way I feel. When I pass my knowledge on, I could give a hoot if you go out and kill the world. I mean, I want you to. And it's a credit to me. You know, it, it was a it's a good example of a lot of times it happens where you go internship under somebody and you go work under somebody and you, you're trying to get away from them. They lock you in psychologically where they don't want to let you separate and grow wings and go out and develop yourself in the trade. They kind of stifle that. And that's about ego. You know, it's, it's really what it's about. It's about an ego and it's about need. It's about a lot of different things. But that's the norm in our, in our business. You usually have that kind of a, a negative attitude or people do when they're intern starts to, to spread his wings and starts to, he or she starts to spread their wings and starts to fly away from you and they get mad, they get jaded, they get upset. They're mad because they put time into you and their ego is involved with it, right? And they want to be the one that gets all the accolades and they don't want to let you have any, right? And so great example of this was just recently, one of the, one of the top trainers in the LA area is, is a guy by the name of Oscar Mora. If you guys don't know who he is, a lot of you probably do. And Oscar's uh, really done a great job over the last five, ten years as he's gotten into this trade and he's dabbled in Schutzen, he's gone to the, to the Nationals, he's he's kicked ass and took names. He also dabbles in Mondio, he's dabbled in Ring, and he's got one dog, Guapo, that he's kicked ass with. But um, he's got other dogs that he's been working, but he, he's, he's respected. And he had an intern with him by the name of Chris Christian Gomez. And Christian ended up... Uh, well, Christian's last name's Gomez or what? But bottom line, Christian was working under him, under his tutelage, and he was in there scooping poop and doing his job to learn and grow in the trade. And he got to a point that he wanted to spread his wings. And to Oscar's credit, he actually supported it, didn't get upset at all, let him go out and gave him all the support. And they worked together off and on. I mean, Christian's still in this area, so he just started his own business. And now he's letting... Christian spread his wings and grow in the in the industry and grow in the uh, in the sport of Schutzen and Christian's kicking ass and, and taking names with a dog that that uh, Oscar put the foundation on but it doesn't mean anything because Christian's went out and earned it he's done all the work that that, that Roddy is showing right now and maybe Chris uh, maybe Oscar put the foundation on it but it's it's that value of friendship camaraderie and 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 pride because this kid's going off and doing his own thing. You know, that's what it really is about. That's, and it just, these guys, this conversation with Hobby Jobby or Job, they, they just hit the heartstrings on both those episodes. It just had me in tears because I've, I've, this is my trade. This is what I've done. I've seen this again and again over the years, how human nature is what it is. It's all about human nature and egos. And there's a lot of egos in dog training. And, and it's just something about the trade that we have such a euphoria and be able to mold and shape a dog and getting in there and doing all this pride that we put into what we're doing. And, and then we wrap our ego around it, right? And that ego is very frail. You know, it's, it's our insecurities as a, as, a, as a trainer a lot of times, or as, a, as a person in the trade. It's our insecurities that cause us to react like that to this person that may be touching you that, that gets to a point where they're wanting to spread their wings. And, and go away from you and it's just they hit it on so many 
the heartstrings in that episode were just, it had me in tears, I swear to God. They do, they do a hell of a job. They've got a great attitude, and, and I love them for it. You know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through their episodes now from top to bottom. I'm going to head over to Patreon and give them my support over there the, the best I can and live to that model of, the, of, of what it's all about, to, to have that feeling as a professional, to pass on the knowledge that I have. And, and that's just because I've been doing it for so long, and that's what happens with when I go out and work with, with decoys. A lot of times it's the older decoys that have been doing it for a long time. They've been there, they've done that, and they care about the animal. You know what I mean? When they're they're molding and shaping that animal, they don't care about the young kids come up and they're learning and they're growing. And there's something about the age bracket and their knowledge bases and everything where it's the the kids have an ego. They want to look good, you know. And they want to be the big star on the podium and and all this part of your ego that goes into it. Well, as you get more experienced, you lose that, you know. You lose that and you start caring about other things. You start caring about passing your knowledge on. That's where I'm at. I want to pass my knowledge on and be able to give to, of myself to other people. And, and I'm not the world's best trainer. I mean, they were mentioning something about uh, there's a lot of trainers out there that go out and they put titles on the dog and they never give a hoot about the trophies or the certificates. And they just do it because they love it. And they're that good that they can do this again and again like cookie cutter. That whole evolution is, is what it's all about. And those that have that purity of heart, to be able to pass on their knowledge. And, and one of the gentlemen's talking about he's been around Bart below and he's paid him for his service. And Bart took him under his wing and, and really made him feel real good. And he tells a story about that with being given a whip because he didn't know how to crack a whip that well. And, and to this day, he picks that whip up and he carries it around. And he pops it all over the place. And it, it was just kind of a uh, an image or a... Uh, an emphasis on something that he, that sticks with him when he was was dealing with Bart, and that's all the credit to Bart because Bart's been there, done that. See, he's evolved past that. So when he sees somebody with the passion and the love, the wanting to get into the training, it's not a threat to him. When somebody wants to learn and grow, he's going to give him that mentorship. Or somebody like Ivan. Ivan's probably a lot like that too when he works with people. You know, they charge a, they charge a dollar. Don't get me wrong. You're you're there paying them a fee to to be under their wing. But at the same time, when they give, they give of themselves fully, you know, totally. And that is to be admired. And it's, and it's part of evolution as far as um, how we evolve as, as human beings. And when you get to that point where you're Ivan or you're Bart Ballone, you, you, you're raised to the point where you're not threatened by it. You're above it. You know what I mean? And that's what it's all about. And, and that's kind of the way I feel. Not that I can sit here and say, I'm all that. And then the other thing they got into is really cool on that episode. You got to listen to it for yourself. But how they say things, how they communicate is what matters. That's why I go to so many seminars. That's why I hang around. And they've they've touched on that heartstring that really makes I'm gonna go through every one of their episodes and have a lot of respect and, and admiration for their their attitudes. You know, their 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 attitudes about the industry because they've been there and done that and they've learned from other people that have passed it on and they have that purity of heart that matters. You know what I mean? And I hope that the industry can be affected by their their you know, they've got a huge audience, you know, they've got people that are listening to them. And I hope that the younger crowd can be affected by that and remember these lessons that they're passing on so that when you go through those evolutions and you start to learn and grow in the trade, that you do the same and you pass it on to that next young man or young woman that's coming up behind you that, that is looking for you to mentor them, you know, to be a good mentor. It's, um, you know, just because you have the skill and you can train a dog and you can do it yourself, can, can you mentor somebody with that purity of heart? You know, that's, that's what really touched me, you know, and had me, I get, I'm getting teared up right now. You know, it's, uh, I guess you just, you get to that point, you know, when we get to this age enough, you've, you've got a, a, a good attitude and you have a purity of heart. That's where you're going to go with it, you know, and, and that's kind of the way I feel when I'm doing these shows and, and passing on all my knowledge. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's really, it's not about the money. It's about the love and about the passion for what we do. You know, the the animal gives it to you, you know, and then being there to help your customer, to be able to educate them and, and to save a dog and to be able to educate the customer so that they have that team, you know, and they have a better relationship because now you've passed that on to your customer. That's what it's about, you know. It, it's not about the money, for me anyway, you know. Maybe there, it is to some people and, you know, there's, you know, there's money to be made in this trade, but that heart, purity of heart will carry you so much further. I'll let you guys go. Mark Farashi, Protect Dog Training, signing off. Have a good day, guys. We'll be in touch. Thank you. I might get one or two of these a, a week, maybe three. Who knows? <laughs> when my brain starts going, I got to talk and got to yak. I thank you very much. You have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.
Canine Paradigm. Go check it out. These guys are good. 145 and 194 and 195, 194, 195. Listen to those two episodes especially. They hit my heartstrings, and I'm going to be going down the list and starting at the top instead of starting at the bottom because that's where I'm at. So we'll, we'll be doing that. You might see me over on Patreon. I might show up on their site on Patreon to give them some support. They deserve it. I thank you very much. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.